I'm going to explain URLs, Uniform Resource Locators, which are sort of like the web's equivalent of a street address, and they represent a site and a single page and a piece of a site. So we're going to go through all the pieces of this rather complex URL and figure out what they are. So every URL starts with a scheme. Uh, HTTP is the most common one, but there's also another very common one, HTTPS, which is quite different. And you can think of that S as standing for secure. Whenever you're sending personal data over the internet, you want to make sure that you're on a HTTPS connection. The next piece is the domain. And there's actually a few sub pieces to that. So it starts with the subdomain. And that can have many pieces. It doesn't necessarily just have to be the first piece after the double slashes. It could be a couple like that, and this would still be the subdomain. Um, and the domain ends in the top level domain. Uh, .edu is obviously the one for education, but there are, there are other very common ones such as GOV for government and, of course, COM for commercial. The next part is the path. And if you think of the domain as representing sort of an individual computer or web server that's sending you back this document, the path is the location on that computer that you're asking for. It's a, it's a rough analogy. So, for instance, in the LRC folder, I'm asking for the search document. The next part is the fragment, which is a piece of that document. So, for instance, here I am on the LRC tutoring page, uh, the Learning Resource Center, and we can see that there's no fragment here, right? It's just a regular um, URL, and we know all these pieces coming up to there. The HTTP is hidden um, by Chrome, but it's there. But if I click on one of these links, it takes me to a fragment of that page. So I'm still on the same page, but we can see that I'm at this getting fragment. The next piece after that is the query string. And this is not a piece of the page, it's a way of storing information in a URL. And it has a very simple key value structure. So there are keys, which are the first items that come before the equal signs. In this case, it's terms and sort. And then there are the values, which come afterwards. And these key value pairs are connected by ampersands. And that is, the query string is everything that comes after the question mark. Um, so they're very common in search engines, for instance. Here I am on Google, and I'm just going to do a really big capital search term so that it will be easy to find in the URL. When I do that, we can see right here that there is and q equals search term. So it's saying, hey, this is your query. And that is the various pieces of a URL explained.